Hey everyone, welcome back to another web hosting video tutorial. This video will be about WordPress tips and tricks. Majority of the viewers of this channel are using WordPress to host their website. Either they're using the AWS LightSail platform or uh, another web hosting provider. And if you are just getting started learning WordPress for your website, then you will want to make sure you have plugins from these five categories that I will cover in this video. I will walk through the top plugins in my opinion for each of the categories, which plugins I use and prefer, and give you some alternative options as well. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first category is backup. This is something you must have on all websites. Even if you don't have WordPress, you need a backup solution. There will be a time when something on the website messes up, content is accidentally deleted or lost, or the site gets hacked, and maybe you just simply want to move websites from one host to another. A backup solution is very important, and there are many plugins that help with this in uh, the WordPress uh, area. Uh, the first plugin in this category I will show you is a paid only plugin called Backup Buddy. So it's not available in the WordPress directory. You have to purchase it from the developer's website and download it from the developer's website directly. And then once you have it downloaded, you can come here and upload the plugin. Um, and it installs just like any other WordPress plugin and you can activate it once it's uploaded. Activating it then creates a admin menu. You can click on that. And uh, there is a setup wizard if you want to walk through that, but you can also just set it up manually and just get directly to creating backups. There are several options here, but we'll just do a complete backup just to show you. Uh, this is backing up your entire database as well as all of the files, including the installation files of WordPress, the core files. Everything is backed up, zipped up into a single file, and then made available for you to download onto your local computer or send it off to a uh, remote destination. And these destinations are configured here. Uh, they have Amazon S3, uh, Dropbox, Google Drive. Uh, they also have a private cloud called Backup Buddy Stash where you can upload uh, directly from WordPress. You can also restore and they have a lot more features as well if you go with this option. Uh, and it comes with your subscription as well. Uh, they also have SFTP if you wanna send it uh, to another server as well. Um, schedules, uh, this uses the WordPress cron system, but you can schedule backups to be done uh, on, a, on a schedule that whatever works for you. You can have it backup every hour, day or week or month. Uh, the other plugin I want to show you here is Updraft Plus. Uh, I personally don't have experience with this plugin, but it, um, it has great reviews and is very popular. Uh, they do have a free option that, that you can use, but they also have a premium option. You find it in the WordPress directory and activate and install it. Uh, you'll go to the settings and straight away you can start backing up. So once you hit backup, you can uh, include your database or the files, or you could uh, just do one or the other. And go ahead and backup. It's going to same thing, create a zip file just like Backup Buddy. And once it's finished, you're able to download the entire file or just one specific component of the backup. Um, you can also do remote destination um, here as well, just like Backup Buddy that is available here in uh, the settings tab. They have all the same ones, Dropbox, S3, Google Drive, and many others actually, more than Backup Buddy, if, if any of these uh, are needed by you. Uh, they also have a schedule. You can set it up to backup automatically. You can clone, migrate as well. Uh, they have the premium version, as I mentioned, uh, that gives you many more features. And if any of these are needed by you, you can purchase the premium version as well. Now, if you want to back up your entire LightCell instance, assuming that you have your WordPress on a instance in LightCell, you can use the snapshot feature of LightCell. 
uh, if you click on snapshots, they have automated snapshots. This runs uh, on a daily basis and takes an entire image or snapshot of your uh, instance. And then you can restore it uh, onto the same region or you can move it to a different regions. The limitation here is that you can only restore it on Amazon platform or Amazon light cell platform at this point. Um, the other option is uh, a guide on backing up uh, using a service called MSP360. This is a partnership with Amazon Lightcell. And uh, this is an article that I found or that I will link to down in the description below or on my website if you're interested in this. It gives you a lot more flexibility or I guess configuration on how you can back up your entire instance. So if this is something of interest to you, you can certainly look into this. I may do a video on this in the future. Uh, so uh, stay tuned for that. The other option is cPanel. So if you use cPanel on, uh, for your website on Lightcell, you can go to the backup section and it has a pretty robust backup tool and you can configure a variety of different settings, uh, including the type of backup, uh, when you want to schedule the backup, retention period, if you need to only keep certain number of backups, uh, what you want to select as far as accounts, uh, databases, um, and then you also want to set the default backup directory and the staging directory as well. Uh, this also has an ability to configure remote destinations. And here you can pick uh, S3, um, there's Google Drive and several others. I will do a video on, on how to set uh, and a remote backup um, on a cPanel as well in the future. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe to the channel. All right, so the next category will be our security category, or I guess firewall category. Uh, firewall will protect your website from malicious attacks, keep your WordPress website safe and secure. So this is also a must have in my mind. Uh, the plugin that I use for majority of my projects is called WordFence, and it is available on the in the WordPress directory. There is a free option, but I would highly suggest go with the paid option. It's a, it's a yearly subscription. Uh, same thing, install and activate it. And uh, with this, you can do scans of your WordPress website on a periodic basis. Make sure that it hasn't been uh, compromised in any way or if there are any vulnerabilities, it will catch that and, and even tell you uh, when, uh, when something is uh, not, not the way it's supposed to be. So you can do that. It also has a firewall, um, so you can install the firewall and configure it. So it helps protect any, any kind of brute force attempts or any sort of attacks on your website. Uh, here I am doing a scan uh, of the website and on a manual basis, it does various things like file changes, malware scan, content safety, uh, and it has a pretty vast repository to check against uh, for any kind of vulnerabilities that your website may have. Now, this, the scans do take a long time sometimes, depending on the size of your website. So it'll take time, but it'll produce a report that will help you then um, understand what things you need to do. Um, there is an upgrade option. Uh, like I mentioned, it's a yearly fee, but I certainly recommend that. It gives you a, a lot more uh, features to help protect your website. So here we go, and it you know lists out all the plugins that are out of date and that need to be upgraded. Uh, so this is the common kind of things it does, but it also produces a lot more information if your website is truly compromised. You can also use their um, security service to restore a website if it is compromised or, uh, or, un or hacked in any way. Uh, so you can use, they do have a service that you can request from them. The other plugin that I want to show you is uh, Securi Firewall. That's another plugin that I've heard or had seen reviews of. Um, I also do not have personal experience with this plugin, but uh, again, as I mentioned, it did get uh, good reviews. Uh, probably very similar to uh, uh, the WordFence, it has ability to scan for malware um, and for any infected files from your WordPress core. Um, uh, but the other thing that it can do here is 
Um, if you go to settings, um, you know, there's a variety of settings that you can set up uh, and as well as uh, um, check out. But the one that I want to show you is hardening. Uh, here you can quickly apply some basic protection on your, uh, on your website. Um, you can block PHP files in the upload directory, the WP content directory, and the includes directory. These are all important basic steps that you should do. Uh, additionally, um, if you don't want to leak information about what type of website you have, you can turn that on as well. Some of these options are paid, as I mentioned. So another good option for you to look at if you intend to buy um, a security plugin. The other plugin that I've heard uh, about is the iThemes security plugin. This is uh, the developers that make the Backup Buddy plugin I mentioned earlier. So you can use this as well. Doesn't have as many features in my mind or from what I've seen, but uh, it could become pretty useful. Um, it can do a security check on your current website. And uh, with there are various um, uh, modules that you can turn on and enable for your website based on what your needs are. Some of them are locked, um, as you see here. Uh, they they are marked with pro, so it is a a there's a paid option as well if that's something that you need. The next category that I want to talk about is SMTP email plugin, or I guess SMTP plugins. Uh, WordPress by default relies on internal mail system to send emails and. Uh, that may be fine for, I guess, in, uh, emails that you just intend to receive yourself, like notifications or uh, emails that are meant for just you. But if you intend to send newsletters or marketing emails or even e-commerce order confirmation emails to your customers, then that internal PHP-based system is not optimal. For this, you need an SMTP plugin, and there are many of them that are in the WordPress directory and they use your an external mail service to send the email. So your deliverability will be much more reliable if you go through this option. Uh, the one that I recommend is the WP SMTP by WP Forms. Uh, this is the one that I've done plenty of videos on, so you can check out on my channel. The other one is S Easy WP SMTP, and I've also used Fluent SMTP, but I would suggest use the WP Mail. It's already comes uh, installed with the Bitnami WordPress instance, and all we have to do is activate it. So let's go ahead and go to installed plugins. And activate. You can go through the wizard if you need, but you can just go through the dashboard and just do your own configuration. They do have a pro option, but the light version is very useful. So you don't need uh, the pro option if you don't need the requirements. Uh, but you basically set up your from email, from name, and then pick a uh, mailer. Uh, and I've done videos, like I said, I've done one on Send in Blue, Zoho, as well as uh, uh, SES, I've done one, and I think I've done one on Google. So go ahead and check those videos out. Uh, but once you have this set up, your email delivery would be much better. So the next category is the caching category. This helps to optimize your website, make it efficient and quick to render on your visitors' browsers and uh, mobile devices. Uh, I've covered various caching mechanisms you can enable on your server. However, you can simply install one of these plugins and some basic caching features will get turned on out of the box. Uh, the one that I use is WP, uh, W3 uh, Total Cache. Uh, this one does come with a lot more flexibility than you might need, but um, certainly is there if you need it. And I would re certainly highly recommend activating this plugin for your website. Once you've activated it, uh, it'll want you to go through a setup guide, but you can skip that if you want and just manually configure whatever you need. You can start with uh, page cache um, and turn this on to cache HTML pages. You can minify your CSS and JavaScript to reduce the bandwidth cost, uh, as well as database cache. This is where you probably need Redis or Memcache. I've done videos on that. Uh, same thing for um, object cache. You'll, you'll need some sort of a backend server to help with that. 
Um, browser cache, as I mentioned, a lot of these are turned on by default and really will speed up your website out of the box uh, or out of the gate with this plugin. Uh, some other plugins that um, I can show you, I don't have direct experience with them, but if you again just go ahead and type in the keyword cache uh, and, the, and there's WP Optimize, there's also Auto Optimize and Super Cache. Um, most of these have come with good reviews, but just pick the one that uh, is best uh, uh, meets your needs. The other thing you can do is uh, turn on um, edge level caching. In LightCell, this is called a distribution or a CDN. You can create a distribution and this will cache all your static files at, on the Amazon's uh, AWS system and really will help speed up your server and your website um, as well. The final category is spam protection and WordPress comes with a plugin built by Automatic, the creators of WordPress itself, and I believe it's a very good one. Um, the plugin is called Akismet. I hope I pronounced that right, but uh, here it comes installed automatically. So all I need to do is activate it and then set up my API key. So to do that, you'll have to purchase it. So for the personal sites, you can name your own price uh, for whatever you feel is appropriate. But for commercial use, you can pick one of these two plans that is, suits your needs. Um, now this runs in the background, keeps an eye out for incoming spam and automatically filters it out. It works with many of the popular forms uh, out there as well as WooCommerce. So highly recommend this plugin. Some uh, other plugins that are in the um, in this space um, is called uh, let's see spam protection. Again, I've not used these, but these come really highly recommended or, or have good reviews. Anti spam B is another one that has very good reviews. So consider installing one of these for your spam protection needs. All right, well there you have it. These are the five types of plugins that I feel every WordPress website should have, in my opinion. Many of these are paid plugins, but I think those are well worth the cost to keep your website protected, backed up, and fast for your visitors. Um, if I did not mention a plugin that is one of your favorite plugins or you feel is better in any of these categories, please mention those in the comments below. If you would like to try any of these plugins out, then I do have links to them in the description below as well as the accompanying post on my website, webhostingforbeginners.net. Some of those links are affiliate links, so they will help out the channel should you consider purchasing using those links. Um, if you found this video useful, please like the video, share it with others. And if these are the type of tutorials that interest you, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching and until the next video, take care.